So today we talk about Satya, and I'm actually going to sit better. So one of the things you need to know about the yamas, guys, is that the yamas should never come into conflict with each other. In other words, you cannot violate one yama and be in congruence with another yama. There's just absolutely no way that can happen. Right? You can't just follow one yama. When you're out of whack, you're out of whack in every single one of the yamas. And um, in that, if that's intellectually, but it affects us in our energy field as well, okay? So Satya is to speak the truth. And the interesting part about that is, is that we all know that intellectually, but for some reason, what happens is that we forget that. When we're in our humanness, we tend to forget that, right? So satya means speaking the truth even when you think, you think that telling a lie would be better. Can you give me a situation where um, maybe you have told a lie, a lie that you don't think was bad, but you did it supposedly to help somebody else? Anybody want to share? Yes. Can you talk about how yes. uh, we lied about that? My auntie said that they said my friend was a lot higher. Say that again? My brother got a really bad haircut, so I just saw him look like that and more friend a lot higher. Like to go socialize and everything. Okay, okay, so that's a good one. That's a very general one. The, and um and that's that and that's pretty good. So um but the thing is is that when we do that we're not really helping the other person. We think we are, but we're not really helping the other person and we're not helping ourselves. Because when we begin to lie that way, we then open the floodgates to an opportunity for more of the same stuff to come at you, to come at you. So what, what we think, now if you think about it, and that's a good situation. Because now everybody think about this. If she was really being considerate toward her brother, ahimsa, remember ahimsa is practicing consideration toward others, yes? If she was really being considerate to her brother, would she lie to him? No. There's just no way you can do that, right? There's no way you can do that. You cannot lie to somebody and be in consideration of that person. You can't, it just, it just is. So what Satya says is, instead of hurting somebody, if you know the truth is gonna hurt somebody, just shut up. Just shut up. You see, the problem lies in where we begin to think that we are God. And God died and made us now the new God, and so we know what's good for everybody, and we know what everybody should know or should not know. And we now know that. And that's when ego is in you. Because at the moment you are an ego and you think that you, you are all that and you are in the right place to tell somebody a truth, even though you know it's going to hurt them, you are edging God out. You are in envy, you are in greed, and you are in oppression. You are edging God out. Right? Because do you remember the saying that says, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's exactly it. That is Satya at its core. And that's a lazy man's way out. Because it's just easier just to shut up. But here's, here's the yogic way. The yogic way tells you, if you're on this journey to be considerate to others, then look for something else to have that person maybe distracted 
so that they can actually, so maybe a better thing would have been, you know, you look really nice in this shirt. You should try this shirt on. This shirt would be really awesome. If you went out there, man, that, that's a hot shirt. You look hot in that shirt. She would not be lying, would she? And that is better than to say your hair looks good when she knows inside that her hair looks like shit or his, his hair looks like poop, right? Excuse my language, right? And let me give you another situation that tends to happen in your age, especially with the girls. We think that God died and, give, and gave us the, the direct the direct authority to tell my friend that her boyfriend was out with some other girl. Because she should know. And I've got to be the one to tell her. Who died and made you God? That's my question to you. Right? Because that's not true. Because when we... We know that if my girlfriend, if she's my best friend, and her boyfriend goes out with somebody, and I see that guy, I know that when she finds out, she's going to be hurt. I know that. So what makes me think that I should tell her nicely? No, I shouldn't tell her nicely. Because that's not my job, because I would be doing, I would be doing, a disservice to her. I would not be telling the truth. I mean, I would be telling the truth, but it's going to hurt her. So I would not be able to tell that truth. So instead, I might ask her something like, are you sure that this is a good relationship for you right now? I would start having her think about it. But that's it. If she asked me why, I wouldn't set the stage and say, because I saw your boyfriend with another guy or another girl, either <laughs> or, right? <laughs> right? So instead, I would say, I don't know, maybe it's time that you start thinking about this. Is that really the best relationship for you right now? That's all. That's it. That's it. Because if I'm going to say something that's going to hurt her, that I know is going to hurt her, I'm violating Sacha. I'm violating Yama number two. And I'm violating Yama number one because I should know better than to tell her the truth that's going to hurt her, which will be, which will be acting against Ahimsa, which means that I'm not acting in consideration to her. Does that make sense? And we need to realize that we have a tendency to tell lies when we are in fear. Fear is the opposite of faith. When you are in faith, you are with God. When you are in fear, you are with, in the Catholic religion, we call it Satan, right? So you are with whoever, whatever, you know, whatever. But there is a big differentiation. But you know what? The definition is the same. The definition is the same. And I believe I've given you the definition of fear and faith, yes? What's the definition of faith? Does anybody know? You guys better write this down. This is going to be good for you. All right? So the definition of faith is this, believing in something that hasn't yet happened. Believing in something that hasn't yet happened. Would you agree with me? That's having faith, yes? Don't we believe in something that hasn't yet happened? 
especially when it comes to girl and boy relationships. I'm afraid he's gonna break up with me and I start to believe it, right? I start to believe it and it hasn't even happened yet. My God, I've been there, done that at the age of 18, right? At the age of 18, every time, the, every time there was a cloudy sky, I could swear my boyfriend was gonna break up with me, so every time there was a cloudy sky, I would be in fear. Oh my God, he's gonna break up with me. Oh my God, he's gonna break up with me. So I would avoid him so he wouldn't break up with me, right? And then boom, what happens? I thought about it so much, I called it to me. He would break up with me, right? So we have to be careful because we are acting out of accordance with Satya when we are in fear. And when you are in fear, you are in ego. And fear makes us do things that we later regret. Truth or not? Because let me give you an example when it comes to a job. Let's say you and you are um, Jasmine and Ariana work in the same place. They're both secretaries. There's a position for executive secretary and they're both going, right? 